Hello everyone. About a year or so ago I made a little video that I put on YouTube about making my the world's first twin engine uh, air steam motor. Um, at that time I described how I built this thing and uh, tore it apart so you can see. I'm not going to go through that again but one of the things I suggested in that video was to change the orientation of the pistons from 180 degrees from each other to one just following about 10 percent behind the other in the hopes that uh, we might produce a little more power. Uh, so I just did that this afternoon. It's raining and uh, so I'll start it up. We're going to run this at uh, 70 pounds. We found that the other one ran pretty good at 80 pounds but it uh, requires just a little less pressure to, to run pretty well. So we'll start it up for you in just a sec. Okay, I've got the uh, air regulator set at 70 pounds. Uh, there's direct air going, pressure going into the motor. We'll give it a spin. Kind of interesting what this motor will do. It'll actually run in either direction and as you saw it was actually uh, going back and forth uh, between uh, top dead centers on the two pistons, kind of like a washing machine. Uh, doesn't still produce a lot of power but uh, it was kind of interesting to see if uh, the engine would run uh, with this piston configuration or not. Uh, as you may recall if you saw my other video I was uh, thinking about trying to make it uh, run more like one of the old Harley motors where the uh, twin engines would actually run 5 to 10 degrees behind each other giving a kind of a double compression stroke and giving more power uh, but that didn't seem to work uh, these things don't actually produce a lot of power of course these little motors never did anyway so maybe that's why but uh, at any rate that's the way it goes with a uh, 10 degree off uh, off uh, center uh, piston configuration and uh, hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching